It's been so good to finally be able to switch around between having an espresso-based coffee and filter at home. Oh my god, the amount of snobbiness in me since I moved to Melbourne and since I drink coffee, it's on another level, seriously. I have to have a fresh coffee beans at home and it's been quite a journey trying to achieve that because I'm also a frugal girl. So basically, I want a fresh coffee beans continuously at home. I also want to save money and now I want to switch it up between filter coffee and espresso-based coffee simultaneously. And I just cracked the code to do that. First of all, if you want to save money with your coffee spending, you have to buy it in bulk. I usually would buy my coffee in a one kilo bag. And then right after I got the beans, I would separate it into containers and put half of it into the freezer. And that one container filled with 500 grams of beans usually would last around three weeks-ish. Now, while that's a good idea, sometimes I'm just sick of drinking milky-based coffee all the time. So. The solution is this thing right here. Multifunctional vacuum sealer. I got it from AliExpress and I also got a bunch of reusable bags like this. It comes in a different sizes as well. And this honestly has been a game changer. We use this bag initially for sous vide stuff. I also use it to keep our produce fresh like vegetable mostly and a bunch of stuff really i just vacuum sealed coffee beans and then put it in the freezer so now i can just interchange between espresso and filter coffee whenever i like i'll link it down below if you want it by the way yeah Please don't mind the mess, but this is the espresso beans and this is the filter. The weather is unusually sunny today. And I just don't want to miss the opportunity to finally be able to go outside and enjoy the weather before we're going into winter because I really am sure that this year's winter is going to be so tough. I stumbled upon this new spot that just opened in Brunswick and I kind of want to go there but we'll see if I'm gonna make it because they close at 4 p.m. and now it's like 1. I think I'm just gonna power through my makeup. Far away she looks so good Grew up in the same neighborhood And that's how to rub salt in the wound Spend a few hours on the reservoir Never broke a bone so I'm gonna try hard To prove you wrong That I'm not who I used to Okay, I'm ready to go now. Just wearing a sweater, trench coat because it's gonna be windy and cold, tote bag, and a sneakers. All right, let's go. I'm so light. Ten feet away, she's like a primrose. You're never taking me alive, so come close. I know why you said it cause I'm reading every word in your voice
I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw an ad of spicy chicken McNuggets, which I've never heard of before. Chicken nuggets is one of my most favorite thing to order from Macca's. And then, I kid you not, after I saw that ad, I also got an email from McDonald's that I have a few thousand points. It's going to expire at the end of this month. This is a sign. This is a sign to go to Macca's, but oh my god, the weather is so bad right now. I don't care. Let's go, I'm hungry. We're secure the kids. Can't wait to try this. Actually, not that much different. Just slightly spicy. Is it better than the regular? Uh, yeah. It's the weekend again. Let's make some coffee. If you watched my previous vlog, you'd know that I have three different coffee beans right now. I have two different types of espresso and one type of filter beans. On the first week, we tried the 3 of 5, 6 blend and it was amazing. We loved it. On the second week, we tried to just interchange between the filter and the home blend espresso beans, which honestly, I don't really like. Right now, I just want my espresso to have a kick in it. I wanted to taste that rich, dark boldness in it. And don't get me wrong, this blend is pretty smooth, but when it paired with milk, it just tastes like chocolate milk. Maybe if you like a smooth tasting coffee, you would like this blend. Wow. It's been quite a running joke between me and my partner that Australia has the fastest traveling cloud probably in the world. But that's one of the things that I actually noticed when I first moved to Australia. I kid you not that five minutes ago, the sky is clear. And I was thinking about going outside to enjoy the weather, but now it's just full of clouds. And I checked on the weather app, it says that there's a chance of rain. Anyway, I really don't know what am I gonna do today, but probably just going to do quite a bit of editing. We're just days away from June and it really caught me off guard. I thought we have a lot of time. I think it's just because that I spend a lot of my days inside and my routines are quite repetitive as well. But I really, really do want to spend the next half year with a lot of intention. I want to romanticize my life and just try to experience more, you know, live a little. And I guess that's also a message for you to go out, live life, have fun while it lasts. Hope you have a good weekend and I'll see you on my next one. Bye! <laughs>